Hey guys. Um, with all that's been going on with Hurricane Sandy lately, um, I've had a lot of time to go through my blog and read some comments. And I came across a lot of comments that uh, said things to the, to the effect of like, I wish I had all the, the confidence that you had and I wish I could wear a high-waisted pencil skirt and, and I wish, you know, I, I could dress like this and I, I know that I can't, this looks really great on you, but I know that I can't wear that. And it hurts my heart to read things like that because I want you guys out here feeling as good as I do, you know, and, and I th think as beautiful fabulous people you deserve that um so i wanted to give you guys my my five keys to confidence um because it's been a road for me um and i have not always been this way and i just want to i want to share my tips and give you guys advice on how i've worked through it so the first key is knowledge of self knowing who you are and that self-awareness will take you so far in life. Knowing your limitations, knowing your morals, understanding the fiber that creates you will push you forward in so many ways that I don't even think you guys understand. You know, knowing that I have a gap in between my teeth that I was very conscious of until maybe like a few years ago. You know, or I have dimples in my thighs, or I have a, a gut. You know, things like that. You take all those things, person, uh, personality-wise, character traits, physically take all of those things and round them up and put them in a bag. And take that with you and carry that with you. The second key is owning it. I want y'all to own it. So, so what I have a gut, I'm going to rock with it. And, you know, sometimes I may not have the best attitude and, you know, certain things may affect my mood, uh, you know, and there, there are things that I may not know. And I'm, I just, I roll with it. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm a big girl. And I roll with it. You know, you, you, have to, you have to take things that may be considered flaws and make them positive. You know, maybe you have a receding hairline get a haircut that will complement that you know and, and just and just move forward man push forward um because no one can say once you once you have knowledge of self and you own that no one can say anything to you no one can take anything away from you and tell you something that you don't already know right the third key is figuring out what works for you so you know about yourself you are owning yourself and now you got to really just figure out what it, what works for that. So like I said before, you if you have a receding hairline, get get that haircut that will complement that. You know, you have big hips, go for A lines. Like for me, I my my bottom half is is a lot larger than my top half. <laughs> you know, so I I usually opt for belts or A line skirts and dresses. Um you know, I know that I don't like crowds, so I don't put myself in situations where that where being in a crowd can affect my mood. You know, knowing, knowing it, owning, owning it, and then putting yourself in the right situations so that you are feeling good about yourself, you have positive energy around you, um, you know, and no, nothing's being compromised. Nothing is being compromised. The, you never, ever, ever one of my, my big, biggest things about confidence is never wavering on who you are. Don't ever, ever compromise anything about yourself, ever. You know you don't like something, don't let anyone tell you that you might. You know, someone may say something negative about you, don't let it affect you. Don't compromise that part of yourself, okay? Number four, and this is my big thing, you have to surround yourself with the right people. Uh, the saying, you are the company that you keep, is very, very, very true. Surrounding yourself with a positive team will be everything for you. You want to have people in your corner who will big you up, sometimes even gas you. But you want to have people in your team 
who will be that positive energy and will also push you to be better. You know, you don't want to be crabs in a barrel. You don't, you don't ever want to have someone telling you, you know, you, you let your friend know that this is something that you want to pursue and they're telling you, man, I don't even know why you're thinking about that. That's whack or, you know, that's silly. Why would you even think that you're capable of doing something like that? You don't want anybody like that around you. You know, you want someone who will be like, girl, you are banging today. You know, or I love the way that you did that. Could you help me, you know, uh, could you help me with that? Could you help me do that? I want to understand your viewpoint on that. Or someone who will, who will give you a tap and say, hey, mm, let, let's talk about this. You know, have you, I know you guys have seen picture on Tumblr or, you know, wherever you go on the internet. And you see these women out here straight ratchet. And you're like, where are her friends? Why did her friends let her leave the house like that, you know? You don't ever want anyone to have to question your team. You don't want anyone to ever have to worry about or wonder why you are with someone. It should all make sense. You want positive energy around you, right? We don't, I don't ever have anyone around me who I'm questioning, like, why, why am I even friends with this person? You know, you don't ever want to be feeling that about, about yourself. Um, and my last key is to develop the undeveloped. So for me, my biggest thing this year was my health. So being knowledgeable and cognizant of the fact that I could be a little healthier, um, I've been working on it and I've been setting goals and I've been reaching those goals. And I think having knowledge of self, knowing what you could work on, setting a goal to work on it, actually setting forth and working on it, when you when you have a goal and you achieve it, there are no words that de can describe that feeling. And and knowing that you've you've set forth to do something and you've actually accomplished it is amazing. And knowing that you have the ability to do something means everything. And you're gonna be feeling good. And you're gonna be like, man, listen, you can't tell me anything about myself because I already know that I can do X, Y, and Z, you know? So knowing who you are, owning who you are, figuring out what works for you and having the right people around you and constantly growing is everything. No one, no one can knock you down. No one can tell you anything about yourself. Once you have those, you keep those five things in mind and you live your life the right way you have positive energy around you and you're just moving forward man and you're just you're just doing what you have to do okay so i want you, i want you guys to be out there just rocking it just rock it don't let anybody ever put you down don't let anyone tell you you can't do something because you know what you can you honestly can do anything that you set your mind to as long as you you know who you are and you just, you power through it, man. Um, I'm, I really hope that, that, that these keys help you guys out. And I want to I hear your feedback. I want to know how you guys are feeling today. How you're feeling. How you think you're going to feel tomorrow. What are the things that you want to work on. Um, how, just how you're feeling. I just, I want to hear from you guys. Um, so leave me a comment below. Um, check out the blog. I'm going to post this with some other stuff and I will talk to you guys later. If you have been affected by Hurricane Sandy in any way, know that, uh, you know, I'm here for you guys. I'm rocking with you. My prayers and, and everything are, are out there. If you are out there volunteering and helping, know that, you know, the blessings will come tenfold. Um, I'll see you guys later and love you much. Bye. Mwah.